Got, dude. I have no idea, but it's a big fish. What's up, guys? As you saw in the intro, real time off charters. Uh, I will be chartering very soon. The website is up. I'm um, just got to go get my DEC license, and uh, we're good to go. I'll start taking dates in the next week. So there were some uh, thunderstorms offshore on the south side, and they grew and got pretty bad. So we worked the uh, the north side in the morning until I saw the fog lift and I saw those dark clouds roll out and I said, you know what, let's go, let's roll out onto Montauk rounds and boy, let me tell you, this fishing trip turned out to be one hell of a trip. I had three fish back to back to back over 27 inches. Oh, he's a keeper, dude. Keep, get him in. He's a keeper. There you go. Nice. It's a real good fluke. Oh man, this is a good fluke, dude. Hit the camera on this thing? Yes. Right there? Yeah, push it once. This is a good fluke. I'm taking him so slow, he's heavy. Dude, the thing hit me like a freight train. Yeah, Dude, it's heavy. It, it's a, there's a lot of tension on this line, man. Now he's fishing like the old time, like an old. Oh, I'm in your line. You shit, man. Hold on, hold on. I'm out of it. I'm out, no, I'm in your line. Oh, yeah, get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm ready. Scoop it. Whoa. Whoa. This was first of the three that were over 27. I got it on the scale and it was bouncing between 8 and 9, averaging around 8.5. Just shy. No, nah, yeah, no, he's not that heavy. Niner. Yeah, it's like 9. At this point, I noticed the fog had rolled off the south side, and we decided to head over there and see what we can get out there. Mine! What do you got? That fluke. Alright, cool. Feel like a keeper? Oh, he's close. No, it's, I'm telling you. Measure that. They're 18 and a half now. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. I'm telling you, that's probably right there borderline. It's not a keeper. Oh, God, dude. Oh, dude. Get the net. It's a big one. Oh, my God, dude. It's a real big one. Hit triple mark, please. It's a good fish, man. Back right there. That's it. That's it. Let's just it. Forget about it, pal. You got that? Turn that camera on, Jim. Killing is my business. Doormat. I got it. Oh, another one, dude. Whoa. Oh my God, bro. That was a white. Dude. Another, one. another doormat. This is huge. Yo, he's on one. Serious weapons for serious people. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Right off the hook. 
<laughs> all right all right let me uh get in the live well these yeah but why are they getting off so easy i don't know you're not so i watched these guys drop uh, a few fish and one of the things is see how jamie has his rod up high you want your rod tip low to get that hook set if you don't have your tip low you're just not going to get that quality hook set oh i'm on another giant dude dude hit mark back foul foul am i recording james please <sighs> It's not that simple. Oh my god, dude. Three of them? Fouls. Got it? Another one, dude. Oh my god, bro. God. Mark on the left. Far left. Yeah. This is Mark and then back. I'm gonna need a net foul, I think. As soon as I dropped. Oh yeah, quick, 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 quick. Quick. Come on. That's a good one. Keeper. All right. All right. So Jamie had got this fish up three quarters of the way and it was definitely a double digit. His rod was bent down into the water right to the handle. It's the Nexus Jigging World rod. And, uh, you know, the hook bent. It was hooked in the jaw, I'm assuming, and I saw he was reeling very hard and his drag was pretty tight. When you lose a big fish like that, you remember what you did and you'll see he'll catch this next nice one. Okay. Jesus. All right, slack out, slack out. You can break your rod. Big, it's a big sea bass. Holy crap! Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Bring, bring it forward. That's a nice one. Okay. Damn. Nice sea bass. Yeah. Quick, quick! Get the net. Get the net. It's not. It's not as big as the other ones, but it's definitely a good one. supposed to be too late now dude just oh okay it's a keeper no nah, it's not that big he's a keeper though it's coming this way james is on that oh dude 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 this is a big one it's this is probably like a six i can't tell can you see it keeper oh yeah let's see it's like a five six So one of the crazy things about this trip is we were catching all these fish on the bucktail and it was a six ounce, which tells me that these fish are dug in. You know, we had to fish heavy to get them. Yo, dude, f***ing insane bite right now. Yeah. I got three that are close to DDs, back to back to back. Uh, two over here and one that was uh, on the north side. Yeah, white gulp again. Just white. Jamie's on a good one. It's a good one? Oh shit. No, just f***ing straight up white gulp. Yeah, killing it. You got the net? I gotta, I gotta get the net, we got another one. All right, later. So here's the fish that Jamie has an opportunity to have redemption on. You see how slowly he's cranking and he's bowing to it. The last fish, I mean, look at that bend. The last fish, the rod tip was in the water. It was bent back to the handle. Look, see that bend? Incredible. Keep your tip out that way. Bring him up. Bring him down. Swing him to me. Swing him to me. Swing him to me. Bring him in, James. Now slack out. Slack your rod out. There you go. Like a professional. Woo, nice, woo, that's woo. your biggest. <laughs> I probably got one, you mother <laughs> 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 I was 
can overdo. Oh god. Holy shit. It's not always easy giving people direction and telling them what to do, but when they do listen, it works out, and it can be very gratifying. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Ah! Taking drag. Taking drag? You want me to get the net, right? Yeah, I'm coming up. Coming up. I got you. I got you. Bring him up. Now swing him to me. Bring him up. Bring him up. Up, 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 up. Good. Nice. Nice. That's like a six plus. Slab. Set it. You're gonna lose it. You look, oh, yeah, you didn't set the hook. Fuck <laughs> you, holding the rod like this. And again, getting back to keeping that tip low, swinging up hard, setting that hook. You were serious about that? Why were you doing it, though? You were going like this. Falling down. He's going like this, Jay. Look, there's a fish. And he's looking at the tip going ding, 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 ding. These guys are my buddies. I've known them forever, so I love breaking their chops. And every time they come out, they deny every bit of everything I'm telling them. Get out of my business! Okay? Okay? Get out my business, man. Do you have any gummies on you? I could. <laughs> oh, oh. Dude! You got, you got it. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> I need a net for sure. Yeah. Bring him right up to you. Got him? Thank you, Jamie, sir. Another keeper. He's right there. He's, he's gonna keep. He's gonna keep that one. Oh, yeah, nice. What is that, fluke? Good one? Need a net, you think? Or? Is it like the last one or no? Uh, no. Fucking guy. Fluke. Close to a keeper. Looks like a keeper. Come on, bring him in. What are you doing? Short. Ah, Jesus. That looks like it keeps. You can measure it. I would measure it. Uh, yeah, well, you know, all your other ones you thought were short with 20. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Nineteen keeps. All right, we're limited. Come on, up on there. There you go. Good boy. There you go. <laughs> 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 Hilarious.